Good morning, it's me. I'm back. Hello, I'm Stephanie Flath, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I'm coming to you live on my business page, which, Facebook business page, which is, I always get this wrong, <laughs> facebook.com slash dazzled by stamping. Um, but you can find me, and, and that's every Wednesday morning, 10.30 Eastern Time. Good morning, Marilyn, I'm happy to see you. And Sherry, so glad to see you. Um, you also can find me anytime on my, uh, on my website, uh, dazzledbystamping.com. Um, so I am so happy to be here with you today. Um, I can't think of any funny stories that I have for you. Um, so I'm just kind of gonna, gonna talk a little bit. Um, hello, Stephanie. Good morning. Um, so I have a couple deadlines that I want to uh, mention to you. Hi, Dina. Um, I, I love all of you that are just ready to have me here. It's so exciting and so much fun. Um, so I have a couple deadlines for classes that I want to make sure that you know because um, I'm not going to see you live again. Well, that's not true. Not live on Facebook, but Dina and I think that's it. I'm going to see you uh, Monday morning, but um, I'm not going to see you Facebook Live before the deadlines are up for these classes, so I just want to remind you. So the first one is my um, Incredible Like You kit class. So that's the one that um, you get this, you get this um, box or container. I'm not sure I would call it a box. For some reason it has this, it has this full thing on the top, so it's not just... A square box. I think it's so that it can be expandable. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, there's this. And then um, there are four sets of cards. I think you make three of each or four of each. No, I don't know. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for watching. I suddenly don't know now. You can look in the catalog. And <laughs> I don't know what page it's on there either. Anyway, there's details on my website if you go and check out my events. Um, so the deadline to sign up for this one is Monday, the 25th, because um, the class is Monday, March 11. So I need time to order the kits. Um, so here they are. This one, oops, ah, this one is my favorite. I just love it. Um, so this is using, I, I've been using the stamp set like crazy, um, but the, the, Rosemary? Oh, is a friend of yours on? <laughs> I thought you were calling me Rosemary, Dina. <laughs> anyway, um, so the deadline to sign up for this is uh, Monday the 25th, and uh, you can find it on my events on my, um, on my website, and you can RSVP there, and... <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I always get a little confused. Um, so you can sign up there. And also I have a an occasions card class. Um, uh, it's next Thursday. Um, so you can, um, the deadline is Tuesday. So whenever I have the occasions card class, um, the deadline is the Tuesday before. Hi, Marsha. I'm glad to see you. Sorry, I took drinks and I still need it. Whenever I'm gabbing, I, I just, it goes dry and, you know. Anyway, so sign up for those before uh, next Monday or Tuesday. Um, the occasions class, I'm, I'm just calling it an occasions card class, but I am planning, I am listing on my um, website what cards that we're going to be making. So for next week, we're going to be doing birthday and thank you and where to go? birthday thank you and sympathy next week um, and if you bring a friend thank you for sharing already Kathy if you bring a friend um, that's new to me an adult friend um, you both get oh we're making two of each of those cards um, if you bring an adult friend that I've not met yet um, then you guys get to make two of one more design hi Nancy um, so so anyway, just to let you know, that's that's the deal. So if you want to see what what um, 
like designs are making that's always the last Thursday of the month and so you can see what's happening next month and whatever too so um, so today I'm doing I feel like I'm doing something a little bit differently um, I was doing some stamping and cutting and whatever with um, with Stephanie actually earlier this week and she made me realize that there's probably a lot of stuff well even even my workshop that night um, there's a lot of stuff that I have like going on in my head that um, that some of you may not know <laughs> I know that sounds really silly but um, I've been doing this for so long that um, some of my tips I feel like like the my tricks that I use tricks or tips whatever you want to call it excuse me I feel like um, I've just known them forever, and some of you haven't known them. Like it's kind of like um, uh, like when you read the Bible. Like there's always something new that you can learn, and 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 some people just have it in their head already, and they've been doing it forever. And others like I never thought of that. <laughs> so anyway, so I'm gonna be sharing stuff like that, but also I have um, a couple cards for you that they're really really simple but they have a fun um a fun technique it's kind of almost the same technique but totally different totally different cards so anyway the first thing that i want to show you tell you is make sure that you know because i've I, I forget to share things or I only have so much time to share things when I'm in front of you either on camera or um, in person or whatever <clears throat> um, so I want to show you our uh, Stampin pad okay so this is for the brand new one the last one that we had I think the one be yeah because we had firm foam before this designer firm foam so this one, the last firm foam that we had, the last, um, even the, not the flip top, um, like, uh, compact op opening type thing, um, one that's really old, but the other one that there's still the fabric pads, but the, the slide opening. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is on these pads I don't know if you've ever noticed mine but I have a label on the end of mine for when I put it in my my thing um, and all of the labels come with the ink pad okay you can see oops wrong way yeah, you can see this one's missing right here and I want to show you really quickly so you can put it right on the end it is in three three or four four languages must be Japanese too because we're in Japan now too. Um, so there's four languages on the bottom, but then there's also this, um, see this little color swatch kind of thing here? Um, there's one more here, I didn't put mine in yet. We'll see if I can do it here. There's one more here that's just the color. Hi Jamie. Um, we, where that goes, I'm gonna open this <laughs> really quick, but I'm trying to do it with my non-strong hand. Um, Okay, so where this goes is right in here. It's kind of a little bit difficult to put in, and I did not think to put my paper piercing tool or my, my um, oh, it might be in one of those boxes. Nope, too much to look through. Just a sec. This will help me. Okay, so I'm going to put this, put this in here. So it's intended to go in here and I'm not going to get it perfectly I'm sure um, because sometimes when you oh I didn't even need my paper piercing tool I want this, this end um, sometimes when you um, have them open ah I got it okay so now it's in there sometimes when you have it open you can look at that and go is that green or is that blue or like the darker colors, is that black or is that Knight of Navy? And you can't tell, but if you have it open and you have the little sticker in there, then you can tell, oh, that's the blue, not the black. So um, anyway, I guess black doesn't make sense right now. Blue, not the early espresso, because we don't have black that are like this. Anyway, so there's that extra little sticker that you can put in there. 
Um, I feel like some people don't even know that there are stickers here. So I'm telling you that now. Um, if you don't watch the video, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to remind you. I've had people ask me that before. Like, I thought they used to come with stickers. Well, they're on the bottom. They're wondering. I've been stamping how long, and I never knew that space was for the con. Okay, well, this space is new to this design of ink pad, Marsha. Um, so the new pads that came out, well, they started back in, um, like, April or whenever we could start pre-ordering. Demonstrators could start pre-ordering stuff, but new in the catalog in June. So if this was not here um, before this design of ink pad. So, so that's why you might not have known that. Um, and that was one of the intentions. I mean, that's not why they redesigned the ink pad. That was just something that they chose to redesign while they did it. Okay, thanks for sharing, Marilyn. <clears throat> okay, so the next thing that I want to share with you quick is some... Um, uh, some Stampin' Trimmer tips, okay? So these are, this is the Stampin' Trimmer. I, I kind of want to do this up rather than have you down, so I don't know, I can see you. Okay, so the first tip that I want to share with you is whenever I cut my cardstock, um, well, whenever I... For sure, whenever I'm doing multiples, not just a single card. Sometimes I won't do it if I'm just doing a single card. But whenever I'm cutting my cardstock, I always score my sheet first. And then I cut it. So I'm saving time. I have half the time because I already scored it once. And um, then I can cut it and I don't have to put it back in to, to do the scoring. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, so that's a time saver. Second thing is a money saver, which is, and you can do this whether you have the Stampin' Trimmer or um, or whether you have um, any other kind of cutting thing or whatever. Hello, Lisa Marie. Um, and that is to use your blade both ways. The older designs of, um, in both directions, I guess I should say, the older designs of trimmers um, are, you could turn these around, and so if you have the habit of just using it one way, after a while you could turn it around and use it the other way. But I am in the habit, it's not a perfect habit, sometimes it just, it's my, the way I do things, I don't know. But <clears throat> when I'm cutting a bunch especially, I'll slide, I'll cut one way and leave it up there, and then I'll cut the other way and leave it down here and my next sheet I'll cut the other way and so I'm as much as possible I'm trying to use both sides of the blade so that it takes it um, lasts longer um, so that's just something that some people don't think of so um, that's one I want to tell you also I mentioned this before but I'm not sure if you caught on that sorry I get it's on the other side um, this track can come out of your Stampin' Trimmer. So this is good for a couple reasons. First of all, you probably have no idea, if you haven't used a baby wipe in this track, you probably have no idea how much paper is actually like shredded down in there. Um, and that makes your blade um, dull quicker, or at least it makes the, the edges of the cardstock get fuzzy faster. Um, so pull it out, use your baby wipe, clean this out. Another thing is, as you have two times, um, two directions that you can put it in, not directions, um, two sides that you can use. Like my one side, I probably need to replace this soon, but my one side, I don't know what was going on with a particular cutting blade that I had. Or I don't, I don't know what it was, but I have kind of like a gouge in here. So it always catches if I use this side. So I flip it over and, and I don't have that gouge. So these are replaceable. We have replacement ones, and you can take them out and do whatever. Um, one more quick thing. Don't ever, um, sometimes you want to make sure that you're cutting well, like you did a good job cutting it. Um, and I will do this with scoring sometimes if I think my scoring blade is like getting too rounded so it's not scoring well. But don't ever cut twice, go one direction and come back 
when you're cutting because you take the chance of like cutting off a tiny little sliver of your cardstock when you do that. If you cut through once, it should be good. So don't don't come back with it with this in the same cut. Um, also, <clears throat> this is one of the design features of the Stampin' Trimmer also that I love actually. If you don't have the trimmer, you probably don't have this spot. Um, Stampin' Up! designed this, so we have this um, grid over on this side too. There's an inch and a quarter here that is amazingly wonderful if you just have to cut some skinny strips. Like sometimes um, in my designs I'll have like a half inch of some, um, like a foil sheet or um, just a little strip of something or I'll want a one inch piece of something. It is so much easier to cut it. I should put something through here. Cut it where I can hold on to this and then cut my one inch over here. If I were to try to cut my one inch going the other way, it's not fun trying to find something to hold on to to be able to cut that. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to make sure that you know about that and are using that also. Um, there was one more thing I thought of. I don't want to. Hi, Susan. Um, I don't remember. If I think of it, I'll tell you again later. Um, so I think that's it for the Stampin' Trimmer. Um, those are the things that I could think of anyway. And so now I'm going to show you, um, uh, a couple techniques that, um, I've actually, I do them every once in a while. And I've, a lot of you have been, who've been with me for a long time, you probably know this. It's probably, I don't know that this is true or not, but I probably, um, share it like, I came in late. Did you show the foot on the arm extension? I did not do that. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Okay. So, on the Stampin' Trimmer, there is an arm extension right here. So you can go out to, is it 16, 14 and a half inches out here. And there's a foot right here so that if you're cutting something big, I usually don't have to pull that out, but if you're cutting, I, I don't want to put you down, so you're just going to have to picture it. If you're cutting something big, it's got a foot, so it's not going to bend. It's got something that will support it. So you can put your thing that's way out here and be able to line it up and touch on it and whatever, and it's not going to sag. It's, it, it is supported. Okay. Um, thanks for the suggestion. Um, so that's it. And if you don't do this already, um, I think that I've shown this on here, but since we're talking um, Stampin' Trimmer, I'm going to remind you. I wrote, <laughs> I gave this suggestion to Stampin' Up. If they ever redesign their trimmer, they need to do this. I used a Sharpie on both ends. One of them's getting worn because it's where I use it all the time. Um, uh, I used my Sharpie and marked off four and a quarter and five and a half because I use those two measurements all the time because that is halfway for our cardstock one way and halfway for it the other way. So whether you're cutting or scoring, um, you need those lines. So then I don't have to, um, I'm not always searching for it. I mean, I use them all the time. This is my trimmer that I use for all my cutting. Um, so I told Stampin' Up! they need to put this on there um, because my Sharpie, um, uh, it wears off. As I mentioned about this one down here, I need to redo it. Um, <clears throat> but these lines that they have on here, they aren't wearing off because they put it underneath the plastic. That was part of their this new design. It's not new anymore, but it's part of the um, the design that when they redid this a few years ago. So um, anyway, that saves my eyes, saves my my head, you know, <laughs> stamping in the middle of the night, you know. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. So now I'm going to share um, share a couple techniques. So um, 
the first one I started mentioning, um, many of you guys have seen it. I share, it seems like maybe once a year, or I don't know, just, I, I share things. And um, it's called the Donna. Um, and it's an amazing uh, fix is what it is. Well, here's the thing. I call it the Donna, but it may not be actually called that. I heard it at some, uh, like an on stage or a leadership or something like that that I had gone to, <laughs> um, that uh, somebody said um, that Donna came up with this technique. She um, dropped her stamp and this is what she did to fix it. So this is the first one that I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to show you a different version of it. So, um, so it's a good way. Um, I chose a, a flower. This is from um, uh, Love What You Do stamp set, page 177 in the full catalog. It's well loved, as you can see. Ha! Kathy was just talking about this, and it made me think of it. Um, uh, this is not a hard one to color. In fact, there are stamps in it that help you not have to color. But this technique is great for a typically detailed or, or like a great big flower or whatever, but a way for you not to have to color it. So um, I'm going to put you down. And I have two totally different ways of showing this that, um, that I'm going to share. So I'm going to put you down. If you have questions or comments or whatever, please keep talking to me. I love it. Um, am I in camera correctly? There we go. Um, so I... Oh, I already saw the card. Maybe you weren't looking. <laughs> okay. These, seriously, these cards are really, really simple. Um, so I have my white piece here, and I have gorgeous grape. I want to do something different. My instinct was to go Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss, but um, I still stuck with purple. <laughs> it's a gorgeous grape, though. Okay, so here's what you want to do. So I'm inking up my, my flower. And I'm stamping it well, and then I'm pouncing it. I'm kind of going all over the place. And we have our flower. I don't have to color it in. I don't have to do it. It's done. It's already done. I don't have to do anything else. So this is great for, as I told you, like a flower that you don't want to color in. You know I'm looking for reasons not to color it. Um, so um, so this is my, this is the Donna. She dropped her stamp and that was how she decided to fix it. So I love that. So I'm just going to make a really, really, really quick card um, to finish this off. So I have this, um, this is the striped gorgeous grape ribbon. I don't it probably says the the width in it. I, I don't know the width. I don't keep track of it. I just describe it by color and whatever. I have a feeling I'm going to have a problem with that when I um, demo on stage. That I'm going to have to call things by their exact name. <laughs> That's going to be a problem. Like um, embossing. If I use an embossing folder at all, I, I don't or have to talk about one. I don't think that I would be using one. No idea, but um, but if I talk about one at all, I never, ever, ever use the full name. So the one that's in this, this one that's in the, that's a celebration item now, I think the full name is Country Floral Dynamic Impressions Embossing Folder. Ha! I will not. I, I don't use that, so I'm going to have a problem if I have to do any kind of thing like that. <laughs> okay, so all I did, I just put my ribbon on here, and I'm going to put some dimensionals. Oh, there they are. Like, I thought I had them out here. Um, so I just do corners and center or something like that. If I'm going to put them on, I want it to be popped up. That's what matters. So... And actually, I just decided I'm going to wait until I get my greeting on just a sec. So I have, I'll put that aside, and I want my greeting on. So I just used the thank you from the Love What You Do. 
And remember, this is a fabric pad with photopolymer, so I need to test it. Not too bad. It seems kind of dry, but we'll be all right. All right, so I just want this at the bottom. And I have my dimensionals already taken off here. Sometimes I like white on white. This is totally, totally, totally a simple card, but it's done. Look. Okay, so there's my Donna. <laughs> All right, now, now I'm going to do a masculine one, and this is not exactly the same thing, and this may have a name that is not what I, it's not called the Donna. I'm, if, if any of you demos that are on here know this name, if there's a, if there's a name for this, you tell me, but I don't know. Okay, so what I'm doing, taking my piece of cardstock here, and I'm using Geared Up Garage, I'm using this um, cool car, and I'm using Black Stays On. I really don't need this cushion, and it keeps feeling like it's in the way. I needed the cushion for photopolymer. It, you, for some reason, it needs it. I think there's no foam in, like here's foam in the cling that this is. There's no foam here, so I think that's the reason, but excuse me, it just never kind of hit me. Okay, so I'm inking this up in black stays on. I always prefer black stays on when possible, but you're not supposed to use that with photopolymer unless you clean your stamps right away. And as you can see, I don't. <laughs> well, photopolymer gets stained easily anyway, but okay. So I'm inking this up. It's a little bit longer than the pad or maybe exactly the same thing as the pad, but I always kind of go over my ink pad like this, sometimes even with a, a smaller one because I might have a dry spot in an area that I always use or whatever. And so if I'm going back and forth, then I'm kind of evening out those dry spots or really wet spots or whatever. Okay, so I'm stamping on here and then I'm going to... It looks like he's driving. I love it. Okay, that was the technique. That's it. Do I need to show you again? Okay. I sometimes have, what's the word? I have, um, I can't think of the word. My success isn't always exact. So we'll hope that this one goes well. That one was actually pretty good. I love this. Okay, so I wanted this card to be totally, totally simple and very masculine. <laughs> but um, I have to tell you, me. Okay, so this it kind of makes me think of the like a checkered flag kind of thing. So I wanted to go with this, and I didn't want to do the buffalo check, and I I just wasn't going there, and I wanted it small. So um, on this masculine card, I'm gonna have butterflies on the back. Don't tell them. <laughs> Ah, okay, so um, this is not usually how I put my designer paper on my cards at all. I want this one for this card because of the look that I was going for. I want it to completely, completely cover my card front. So, oh, this is the Geared Up Garage designer paper also. I'm, I haven't used so much the, the pictures. I've been using like the graphic kind of thing. Um, so I am completely covering this white cardstock with my designer paper. I might need to trim that off because I either I'm, oh, I did hang off. That's a bummer. All right, well, I'm going to trim this so that the white's gone on there. Okay, so I wanted my... I just wanted all designer paper, so I have that. And then I'm not going fancy, <laughs> like dimensionals are fancy. <laughs> I just wanted it to be simple. So I'm putting this on here um, with no dimensionals. And 
we have in this suite these classic garage metal elements. I'm reading that right from the packaging because I, 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 I'm not sure what I would have called these, but um, I don't think I would have said that whole thing if I didn't read it. Okay, so I, there's keys and there's wrenches in here. So I'm putting, I always, whenever I use mini glue dots, I press my piece onto my mini glue dot and lift it up. Um, it seems to help it, and I want two on here. I'm not sure why. I feel like just because it's long, um, longer. So I have one kind of where the wide piece and the skinny piece of the key come together, and then one down low. So we put one here, and then one more key. And then I just fold it. If it's too wide for what I put it on, I fold it if you didn't notice that. Okay, here's my card. And then I went one more little thing. I this I used the, what is this called? Itty Bitty Birthdays. Um, and I thought this was perfect. Um, this saying, I wanted something not huge. I didn't want to take away from my design. This says, time to celebrate, with an exclamation mark. <laughs> and I just feel like that's perfect, like he's rushing. He's rushing to go celebrate. So there's that. And then it also has a cool, nice, bold, happy birthday that I'm going to put inside. Ta-da! Happy birthday. Time to celebrate. Okay, so those are my really easy, super simple cards with my... Dot tools, yeah, I would have called that. <laughs> Sumi car, yes, I love it. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, both of those cards that I made really quick. Um, so, what do you think? Is it? Is it? Thanks. I'm glad you like it. Um, I I feel like there's a name for that technique. Did somebody tell me? I'm gonna slide you down. Somebody simple stamping. Yeah, definitely simple stamping. <laughs> Donna, yep. Um, it is a great technique. Okay, so I don't know the name of this zooming car technique. I feel like there's, like I saw it called something, or or somebody named it something on a, I'm going to be doing a technique swap in Minneapolis um, with a group, and I feel like somebody named something, and I could picture what they were going to do, but I feel like they were like sliding it or something, and this one definitely isn't sliding, it's just multiple stamping to make it look like it's driving. Anyway, so um, I'm glad you like the tips and the card. Um, so remember, if you would like these cards, um, I have a random drawing that I will do Monday morning. Actually, I do it really, really late Sunday night usually. <laughs> uh, so make sure that you um, share my share this video and uh, like it and comment that you shared it. In motion technique? I don't know. That could be. That's a that's a good one. Donna in motion. How about that? <laughs> I love Donna. I I'm not sure it's technically called that anywhere, but somebody told me that. I feel like it was a I feel like it was a um a demonstrator trainer. Um now I forgot her name. She was hilarious. But it might not have been her. Um she's not there anymore. Thanks for sharing. Both of you girls, Dina and Sherry. Um, I, I like Donna in motion. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. So if I, if I remember. <laughs> it just hit me that they were kind of similar. So anyway. So um, share, comment, like. Um, tell me what you need to know. Sign up for my classes. Um, uh, that's all that I can think of that I have for you. So... Um, um, I've been wanting to show this um, this geared to what's it called again geared up garage I've been wanting to show that and I feel like I want to do a class with it but I'm not sure maybe in maybe in May we can do that that would be a good one um, thanks for sharing I like Donna in motion too <laughs> thanks thank you for sharing girls I appreciate it okay that's all that I have for you so have a wonderful day thanks for coming and meeting with me 
and um, I will see you next Wednesday also. <laughs> um, have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!